Have you ever felt lost in the shadows of despair, wondering if there's a light at the end of the tunnel? In life's journey, we often encounter storms that seem overwhelming. But even in these darkest hours, remember, there's a beacon of hope, God's love. Today, we're not just going to talk about it. We're going to dive deep into the Bible's most profound verses and stories. These timeless messages reveal God's unwavering support and how He lifts us up during our toughest times. Join us as we explore these inspiring messages and discover the strength and guidance that God offers in moments of despair. Imogen being thrown into a Dean of Leons, facing almost certain death. This was the reality for Daniel, a key figure from the Bible. But instead of succumbing to fear and despair, Daniel held on to his faith. Incredibly, his faith was so powerful that it closed the jaws of the lions and he emerged unscathed. This story isn't just about survival. It's a vivid example of how faith can be our strongest ally in the face of overwhelming despair. Now think about the woman with the issue of blood in the New Testament. For 12 long years, she suffered, both physically and socially. But her faith was unwavering. She believed that just touching Jesus' garment would heal her. And it did. Her story teaches us that faith is a transformative force, capable of changing even the most desperate situations. Faith is like a spiritual muscle. The more we use it, the stronger it gets. It's not a passive belief, but an active force that can shape our reality. It's about trusting in a greater plan and purpose, even when everything around us seems to be falling apart. Let's look at a modern example. Consider a man who lost his job, a situation many can relate to. With bills piling up and a family to support, despair could have easily taken over. But instead, he chose to lean into his faith. Through prayer and scripture, he found not just solace, but also the strength to persevere. And eventually, this faith opened new doors for him, turning a seemingly hopeless situation into a new beginning. Or the story of a young woman battling a chronic illness, where medical science had reached its limits. Despite the odds, her faith remained unshaken. She believed in a miracle. And through her faith, she found not only the strength to deal with her daily challenges, but also witnessed significant improvements in her condition. These stories, both ancient and modern, illustrate the same truth. Faith is a powerful tool, especially when we face the walls of despair. It is our light in the darkness, guiding us when we are lost and giving us strength when we are weak. As we continue on our journey, let's hold these examples close to our hearts. Let's remember that in our toughest moments, our faith is not just a belief. It is our power, our shield, and our beacon of hope, guiding us through the storm to the brighter days that lie ahead. In this next part, let's delve into the heartwarming promises God has made to us, especially during hard times. One of the most comforting promises is found in Isaiah 41.10, Fear not, for I am with you. Imagine this as a loving assurance from God, akin to a parent reassuring their child. It's a promise that extends beyond mere words, offering a profound sense of safety and companionship. Throughout the Bible, we see countless examples of how this promise has been fulfilled. Take, for instance, the story of the Israelites crossing the Red Sea, this wasn't just a miraculous escape. It was a testament to God's promise in action, a journey from fear to faith. Fast forward to today, and this promise still holds true. Think about the stories you've heard, perhaps in your community or church, about people finding strength and hope in seemingly impossible situations, all because they clung to their faith. It's not just historical accounts that bear witness to this promise. Many of us have personal experiences that echo this truth. People from all walks of life have stories of facing adversity, be it illness, loss, or hardship, 
and finding that they were not alone. God's comforting presence was with them, guiding them through their darkest moments. And this is what I want to remind each of you today. God's presence in our lives is not sporadic. It's a constant. His promise, fear not, for I am with you, is as real now as it was in biblical times. I encourage you to hold this promise close to your heart. Perhaps start each day by repeating this verse, reminding yourself that no matter what the day brings, you are accompanied by an unwavering divine presence. This segment of our journey together reaffirms that no matter the challenge or despair, God's promises are steadfast. They are the anchors in the turbulent seas of life, a reminder that we are never, ever truly alone. Now, let's explore the power of prayer as a means of finding comfort and guidance in our lives. Prayer is not just a ritual. It's a conversation with God, a way to connect with Him on a deeply personal level. It's in these moments of prayer that we find solace, strength, and direction, especially during times of despair. The Bible is replete with examples of impactful prayers. Consider the Psalms of David. These aren't just poetic verses. They're heartfelt conversations with God, expressing everything from deep despair to immense gratitude. David's prayers show us that, in prayer, we can lay bare our souls with all our fears, hopes, and dreams. Take, for instance, Psalm 23. Here, David speaks of God as his shepherd, guiding him through life's darkest valleys. It's a powerful reminder that in prayer, we find a guiding light, even in the darkest of times. But how do we incorporate this into our daily lives? The key is developing a regular prayer habit. It doesn't have to be formal or lengthy. It's about creating a space in your day to connect with God, to talk, and more importantly, to listen. This could be in the morning as you start your day, or in the evening, reflecting on the day's events. The goal is to make prayer a natural part of your daily routine, a time when you can find peace and guidance. I encourage each of you to find your own way of praying, one that resonates with your heart and life. It might be reading a psalm, speaking your thoughts aloud, or sitting in quiet contemplation. Remember, prayer is your personal conversation with God, and in that conversation, you'll find a wellspring of comfort and guidance, ready to uplift you in every moment of despair. So, as we move forward, Let's embrace prayer, not just as a practice, but as a lifeline, a constant source of comfort and guidance in our journey through life. Let's delve a bit deeper into the transformative power of prayer. When we pray, we're not just sending words into the void. We're engaging in a two-way conversation with God. This dialogue allows us to receive wisdom, find clarity in our confusion, and gain strength in our weaknesses. It's a spiritual exercise that aligns our hearts and minds with God's will, leading you to a path of enlightenment and peace. Reflect for a moment on the impact of prayer in times of crisis. When faced with challenges that seem insurmountable, prayer becomes a beacon of hope. It's in these moments of sincere supplication that many have found miraculous turnarounds and solutions that seemed impossible. This isn't coincidence. It's the power of divine intervention, made possible through the earnest act of praying. Moreover, prayer fosters a sense of community and shared faith. When we pray together, be it in church, with family, or with friends, we strengthen our bonds with each other and with God. These shared moments of prayer create a network of support, uplifting each individual and the community as a whole. I want to encourage each one of you to not just pray in times of need, but to make prayer a daily practice. It's in the consistency of this practice that you'll find a growing sense of inner peace and a deeper connection with God. It doesn't matter where you are in your 
spiritual journey. Prayer is for everyone. Whether you're a lifelong believer or just beginning to explore your faith, prayer is a tool that is always available to you. Let's now focus on the vital role of community in uplifting the spirit, especially during challenging times. In Christianity, fellowship is more than a concept. It's a lifeline. It's about coming together, sharing our burdens, joys, and walking in faith as a united body. The New Testament is filled with examples of the early Christians supporting each other, emotionally, spiritually, and even materially. This kind of fellowship is a powerful force that can uplift, heal, and encourage. Think about the story of the early church in Acts, where believers met regularly, shared meals, and prayed together. This wasn't just a social gathering. It was a source of strength and encouragement. But how does this play out in our modern world? Let's take a moment to reflect on stories from our own communities. There are countless testimonies of individuals who found comfort and support in their church family during times of loss, illness, or hardship. These stories aren't just about receiving support. They're about giving it as well. They remind us that in helping others, we too are uplifted. This is why it's crucial for each of us to actively seek and provide support within our faith communities. Whether it's joining a small group, participating in church activities, or simply reaching out to someone in need, every action creates ripples of kindness and compassion. It's through these actions that we embody the love of Christ, providing a tangible expression of God's care and compassion. So, I encourage you to take a step today, reach out to your church, join a group, volunteer, or just make a call to someone who might need a word of encouragement. Remember, as part of a Christian community, you're not just part of a group, you're part of a family. In this family, we lift each other up, bear each other's burdens, and journey together in faith and love. As we wrap up this segment, let's hold on to the truth that our community is one of our greatest sources of strength and comfort. In unity, there is healing, hope, and a shared joy that makes even the heaviest of burdens lighter. Let us now join our hearts and minds in prayer, connecting with God and each other in this sacred moment. Heavenly Father, we come to you today with hearts full of gratitude for the gift of community. Thank you for the fellowship that binds us, for the brothers and sisters who walk alongside us in our journey of faith. We are reminded today of your commandment to love one another, and we seek to live out that commandment in our daily interactions. Lord, we ask for your guidance in strengthening the bonds within our church and faith communities. Help us to be a source of comfort and support to those around us. Give us the wisdom to recognize the needs of our brothers and sisters and the courage to act in love and kindness. We pray for those among us who are struggling, facing trials, and walking through valleys of despair. May they feel your presence through the love and support of their community. Help us to be your hands and feet, bringing hope and light into the lives of those who need it most. In moments of joy and in times of hardship, let our community be a reflection of your love and grace. Teach us to bear one another's burdens, to celebrate each other's victories, and to be a living testament to your unending love. We thank you, God, for the gift of fellowship and for the endless opportunities to show your love to others. May we continue to grow in unity and purpose, always glorifying your name in all that we do. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. As we come to the end of our journey today, let's carry with us the powerful truths we've explored. Remember, in the midst of life's storms, God's love remains a constant source of strength and solace. His promises are not just words. They are the bedrock of our faith, guiding lights that lead us through even the darkest times. Whether it's through prayer, the support of our community, or the reassurance found in God's Word, 
we have an unshakable foundation to face whatever challenges come our way. Our faith in Him is a powerful force, capable of transforming despair into hope and hardship into opportunity for growth and deeper connection with God. I encourage you to share this message of hope and upliftment with someone you know who needs it. Maybe it's a friend, a family member, or even a stranger. Your act of sharing could be the very thing they need to feel God's love and presence in their life. Together, let's commit to spreading the light of God's love. Let's be beacons of hope in our communities, reflecting the strength, comfort, and peace that comes from our Heavenly Father. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of faith and encouragement. May you go forth with renewed strength, holding on to the promises of God and living out the power of His love in every aspect of your life. God bless you all. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of God's unwavering support in times of despair. If this message resonated with you, please share it with others. And don't forget to leave your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Your insights could be the beacon of hope for someone in need. Stay blessed and uplifted. And remember, we are all part of God's loving plan.